guys, it's summer. Today I'm reviewing the Our Generation Diner Set, which was purchased from Target for $110 American. I'm not trying to brag or anything. That's not what this opening video is for. It's just trying to show you what the product looks like when you first get it, so that you yourself can decide whether or not you should spend the money on it. Okay, so this is the diner all put together. All I had to do was snap on the back, which I'll show you later. It's just like the outside of a diner and I had to flip this up and flip a couple other things. And what I really like is it does take batteries for a couple of the things, but they already have it included and it's already in the battery compartments. And you don't need any screwdrivers or anything. So I think this is really great because once you get it, you can open it, snap it together, and you can immediately start playing with it and using it rather than having to sit there for like three hours trying to assemble it. So now I'm just gonna go over all the things in the set. And everything in this set is plastic unless I say so otherwise. So we'll just get started over here at the kind of little bakery cabinet sort of thing. First we have this little bowl of ice cream and it's stuck inside the bowl. Then we have this kind of brownie sort of thing with whipped cream on top stuck to a plate. And then there's this banana split that is also stuck to its bowl. Over here we have this sort of platter of cake. The top comes off and there is a entire five layer cake that looks like red velvet and as you can see, this one piece of cake comes out and you can see the inside. There's little strawberries on top and then it also comes off the platter. There's also a pie that looks to be blueberry because it's got dark blueberries in it and you can take the one piece out and you can also take the whole pie out of this little baking tray. The case opens with this door easily and in the back there's actually a little sort of dial that you can use to spin it around or since that can be kind of awkward sometimes you can just take one of the shelves and spin it with your hand. And all of the food that it comes with includes nine donuts, three vanilla ones with pink frosting and white sprinkles, three chocolate ones with chocolate frosting and white sprinkles, and three vanilla ones with lime green frosting and white sprinkles. Then there are also nine cupcakes. There are three red velvet cupcakes with white frosting, three chocolate cupcakes with pink frosting, and three sort of chocolate vanilla cupcakes with this fancy white frosting and a little cherry on top. And there are six of these cookies that are kind of like a, one of those thumbprint jam cookies. And they're in little hearts. And they kind of feel like a Rice Krispie sort of thing. Then there is a plate of spaghetti that is stuck to its plate with meatballs on top. Over here stuck to its plate is a sort of sandwich that I'm thinking is like a meatball sandwich or something. And the only thing that comes off the plate is this cute little pickle. Then there is this basket of fries which is stuck to it but I like the detail that they add in a little uh, sheet of the patterned paper so that it really does look like a basket of fries. There's also a hamburger that comes apart and it's got a meat patty, lettuce, and pickles, and they all kind of seem to be kind of rubbery, and it also is all stuck together in a bun that and every single part comes off. Then we have two bottles of pop, one that kind of looks like Coke, and the other is kind of like a clear purplish pinkish, that could be maybe a cream soda. They have red and white little straws. Then right here are two glasses with straws, green straws, and they kind of look like colored smoothies or slushies or something. There's lilac, purple, and red. Then there's this thing that could be a milkshake, a strawberry milkshake. It's light pink with white whipped cream and a cherry on top with another lime green straw. Back here we have a bottle of vinegar for the fries. Then there is a grilled cheese sandwich in one piece. There's a hot dog with mustard on it, and the hot dog comes outside of the bun. Just like that, which I think is really cute. And the bun is kind of, it's plastic, but it's a little flexible, kind of like rubber or something. Back here we have a bowl of tomato soup with two crackers inside and it stays in the bowl. There's a plate of what looks to be like fish sticks with a lemon and a bowl of uh, some sort of sauce or ketchup maybe and it's also stuck to the plate. And there's also a stack of money which includes $20 bills and $10 bills and it all comes apart and it's just stuck together lightly with a piece of scotch tape at the back. And then there are three plastic little coins. There's a 25 cent one, a 10 cent, and a 5 cent. 
There's this little pencil. It's plastic and it doesn't work, but it's still really cute and doll sized. And there's this pad of paper that really works and mine just came off of the cardboard backing, so I might have to use a little bit of tape to stick it on. And you can really write on the paper. There's hundreds of sheets it looks like and you can even take them off. And there's also this coffee pot. Up on the side we have this light pink phone and it doesn't have any dials but the phone does come off with this cord and it sits nicely on there without trying to fall off. Behind Julie we have a chalkboard and they have painted menu on it. They even give you a big piece of chalk that you can write on the chalkboard with. Up here are some of the remaining things that I didn't put out. There's two small plates two clear cups, a sort of water pitcher, two dark blue bowls, um, one person set of cutlery, the other one's on a different table, it includes a knife, a fork and a spoon, and a large plate. Then over here is some of the rest of the food. There's another set of cutlery, a large plate, and it's got two strips of bacon on it, two sunny side up eggs that are stuck together, and a sort of triangle of sausages, breakfast sausages that are also stuck together, but none of them are stuck to the plate, which is good. And on this plate, the pancakes and blueberries are stuck to it. There is a little coffee sort of teacup here, or maybe it's hot chocolate, and it goes right on the saucer. Back here are two bottles, one of mustard and one of ketchup. You pick them up. And there is a sugar canister, and it's got like glitter inside. It's all sparkly. It's really cool. And then there's salt and pepper shakers, and they both have glitter inside. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, but this one's kind of got bronze and black glitter, and this one has more white glitter. And back here, there's a jukebox. It really works when you push that button, but I'm not gonna demonstrate it because I already tried it and it was really loud. Then there is a napkin canister, and it's got cloth on it, and you can't take the napkins out. It's kind of just for decoration. And there's these little blinds here, and they just stay like this. If you want them to flip up, they don't really stay, so. A couple cool features from the diner are that this part of the counter flips up so that your waitress can walk through. There are two stools, and the dolls, they're not very big, so the, and they're plastic, so they are easy to tip over, and the dolls can't easily sit on them, but they could. These plastic chairs are a lot more sturdy, and they have the backs on them, which really helps. And there's a little light back here that turns on this light. I hope you can see it in the video. But it turns it and it makes it red. It looks very retro and you can just switch it on and off. And the back of the diner is what I snapped on. And it's just the outside of what the diner would look like. And if you wanted to, you could cut out pictures and just stick them on here if you wanted. So that when people walked by, instead of seeing just gray on the windows, they might be able to see inside a little bit. But since that would also be where her chalkboard is, you don't really need to see inside. So I thought that was a really cool idea too. I also just realized that behind the counter there is a ton of shelving space to put all of the extra food and dishes if you don't have any room on the counter or up on that shelf. This is an absolutely great set. It's well worth the money and I definitely recommend you get it because you get so much for the price. The possibilities are endless with this set. All in all, I think this is a really cool set. It comes with so much and even though it was a bit over $100, I think it was well worth the money because it comes with so much and it kind of sucks that it's made of plastic, but it's still a lot of fun. It's gonna have a lot of play value and I can't wait to make tons of videos with this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. You'll join us for an endless amount of music videos, stop motions, requested videos, Q&As, and more. Special guests will be joining us for several of our videos. This year is going to be one that you won't want to miss.